Hey guys, uh, this is what you're looking at today. I'm doing kind of uh, more of like a request video as I've had dozens of people ask me how I made my Macro 9, uh, how much did it cost, could you make me one, just really much any general question surrounding my Macro 9 because this is my baby. This is the first gun I completely did everything to between the external and the gearbox mods. So uh, this video, I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, just really lightly go over what I've done and how much it cost me. Okay, uh, really starting off here quickly with uh, the parts I've added. Uh, one, the cheek riser. This is the normal stock that came with it. This started as a SEMA CMO28. Yes, the $100 AK. So base gun was $100. Did nothing to the stock. Uh, camo form. And a cheek riser, insta, uh, insta morph cheek riser. Basically, I made it out of a moldable plastic and then just fit it on the stock. That way, when I look down my sight, I don't have to adjust my look, as since the sight is kind of elevated, being on top of a top cover and then on a rail. So cheek riser is comes in handy, and then that's wrapped in insta, uh, wrapped in camo form. My fault. That way, I can actually grip that plastic to give me some type of cheek weld. And uh, in total, um, I'm gonna say, let's say that's about eight to nine dollars in material between the cheek riser and the wrap. And then on the inside of my stock, I have this wire to Deans. I completely rewired the gun to 16 gauge silicone wiring. So we're looking at about maybe two to three dollars of wiring, four dollars for Deans connectors, and then surprisingly enough, this 7.4 2200 milliamp battery only cost me $13. That is a uh, battery you can get off hobby parts and their shipping is usually $5 or free after like $30 to $50. So um, overall so far we're looking at roughly I'm gonna say $135 and for $135 you get the completely stock AK really good battery wiring a whole lot better. Uh, moving on from that I got the uh, the SEMA tack grip which kinda has more of a finger groove that was another eight dollars and um, stock hop up but I do have an Angel Customs barrel in here that Evike was nice enough to send me uh, but if you were to buy it that cost you about I think thirty five dollars and it was originally a 405 so it stuck out to here but I cut it down to match my nine inch barrel so we have a um, just a nine inch barrel I think it's Echo One brand not too sure either Echo One or Matrix that cost me $25, $10 for the flash hider, $20 for the rail. It was just a killer deal I got off Weapon Blender. It wasn't a standard uh, free float. It's held together by these two screws. So um, overall, it's actually, it stays on there very solid. So really impressed for a $20 rail. And then this grip was $10. Rail covers came with my Ares LMG, but I use them on here. We're just gonna say that's another $10. So in total, we're looking at about $60 for the front end, another $60 for the AK to M4 adapter or conversion kit. So $120 altogether to make this front end possible. So $120 plus the original about $135. So you're looking at about $250 for this gun, and that's before the internals. So after that, uh, $50 for the sight, $300 another 40 for the garter high-speed motor so 340 and then the only other thing I did to the gearbox I put some stronger uh, JG enhanced gears in here so that's pretty much it guys a uh, stock piston I did angle of engagement I reshimmed it so it's since I did all the work I ain't gonna have to charge myself for that so you're looking at a total of about three hundred and seventy dollars for a gun that gets a consistent 370 FPS and 26 rounds per second on a 7.4 LiPo or 38 to 36 rounds per second on an 11.1 LiPo. And this gun has done me nothing but good. Piston has nowhere so far. And I just use 74 style high caps in here instead of the 47. That way um, I can use my grip without the AK mags getting in the way. But I do have two 40. I use, when I go on the field, I use two of these as my main mags. And then I have two AK 47 style mid caps on backup. So I usually carry some of my uh, my high cap speed loaders with me, pretty much just paintball tubes, if I do need to fill these mags back up. But uh, overall, 
this gun is pretty accurate. Uh, when I'm using this, I'm usually shooting someone from 120 feet away, but you know, I can easily hit them from 150, 160 feet. So that's pretty good for the shortened barrel that this gun is. Even though the only thing that throws off the look is the full stock, um, I don't have really short arms. So I love the feel and it's really good. And the, uh, the OE Tech clone sight up here, the Arma 155, or EOTech clone sight, my fault. Um, it just really wraps up the whole look of the gun. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop talking. I'm gonna do a shooting test, uh, just rate of fire and trigger response. Okay guys, uh, as I'm showing you a close up of this gun, make sure to go check out my new channel, Gun Vids For You. It is my new real steel channel, not airsoft plates. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop talking now. And this is semi-auto on a, uh, I don't even know how much of charge this battery has. It's probably had about three high caps to it. And remember, this is a 7.4 LiPo, not 11.1. So there you go. Hey guys, make sure to check out my other channels, Gun Vids for You, and Watch Your Vlogs. And make sure to subscribe and like this video.